The unemployment rate in Florida has dropped by almost 5% since 2010 and is at its lowest point since 2008. In fact, our unemployment levels in the state have been below the national rate for nearly a year. And there's a new way to file for unemployment. And here to explain how we've made such a remarkable comeback and with advice for those who need to file claims is this hour's newsmaker, Jesse Panuccio, is executive director of the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity. Welcome, Jesse. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So this has been a great success story with the rate dropping as much as it has coming out of the recession in the state of Florida. Where have you seen the job gains? Well, uh, you're absolutely right. It has been a remarkable turnaround. There really is a Florida turnaround story to tell. And it's not just the unemployment rate. It's job growth. It's tourism, it's consumer confidence, it's the housing market. Across all of the areas we look at, we have seen great growth. And the gains have been across the state. We see particularly strong growth in the I-4 corridor area and also in Broward County. But really, you can go county by county throughout the state and see that they've made significant uh, decreases in their unemployment rate as well as job growth. And as you said, outpacing the nation, outpacing most other similarly situated states. So if you're out there looking for a job, perhaps transitioning into a new career, and you're in Florida, what would you recommend? Well, I think it's a great time to come to Florida. We, uh, during the recession, our historically constant influx of visitors had fallen. Uh, we are now back to 500 people a day coming to our state, and I think they can go uh, to our online job boards and see 279,000 online job ads, the most we've ever had since we started measuring. We're actually higher than we were pre-recession. One thing, though, that we are seeing is the job pool shrinking a bit uh, in the state of Florida over the past five years. How come that's the case? Why, why are there less people out there looking for work? Well, uh, that's a national issue, and you can see that trend going on nationally. But actually in Florida, I think we've fared a little bit better than other states. And so that's why we don't just look at the unemployment rate as an indicator of economic health. We do look at job growth. We've had 400, approximately 450,000 private sector jobs added. Uh, we think that's the main driver of that drop in the unemployment rate is those actual jobs that are coming back to the economy. And then we also look at job demand. The outlook surveys for uh, job demand in our state are very good for the next year. And so uh, we're outpacing many other states on those issues. Um, and when it comes to other states, how does Florida distinguish itself in the job market? In other words, what are the jobs that you might find in Florida that you wouldn't find elsewhere? Well, of course, uh, tourism is, is a historically uh, major industry for our state, as is agriculture. But one of the things we've focused on in the Scott administration is trying to diversify the economy so that we really can look at all major industry sectors and say we have something for everyone uh, that wants to come here. And we've seen uh, dividends. Uh, we've really focused on economic development, on smart economic development over the past few years. And we're seeing major Fortune 500 companies like the Hertz Corporation announce that they're moving their headquarters to our state. And there is a new way to file for unemployment for those not fortunate enough to have jobs in the state. Tell us about the new unemployment claims system in Florida. Well, the new system is called Connect. It was a modernization of a 30-year-old system. Uh, it is using state-of-the-art technology. It has experienced some te technical difficulties during the rollout, uh, which happens with projects of this magnitude. We're working with the vendor and holding them accountable to make sure we get them fixed as, as soon as possible and to make sure that every claimant is served as timely as possible. Over time, the expected benefits from the system uh, will start to accrue and we'll see a more efficient, uh, user-friendly system. It makes it easier for people to file online. Say, for instance, you don't really have to go to an unemployment office. You can do this online, right? Correct. We've had for a few years in Florida an online filing system. And so people can file from the comfort of their own homes. They can use a local library. They can use uh, the local workforce offices as well. Well, uh, best of luck to you and the, the folks at the state of Florida. And just jobs for the future quickly as our final question in 10 seconds. Uh, well, Jobs for the Future, again, we're trying to grow across industries, but we especially look at high-tech jobs. Uh, we're trying to bring manufacturing jobs back. That's why we cut the taxes on manufacturers uh, last year, and STEM-related jobs. That's why we focus on STEM education. Well, thank you very much. This hour's newsmaker has been Jesse Panuccio from the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity. I'm Phil Latzman from the Capitol, and thanks for joining us.